I'm Armored Chocobo, and I like randomizers. It's a newfound love. Yeah, I, I found them uh, kind of interesting. The way they take like classic games and morph them into something that is um, new and interesting. This game should look familiar to quite a few people. It's by Ape. And Halkin, which became HAL Laboratories. Okay, that's kind of new. I don't remember Goldgiss. But it's still not that 1950s movie remastered in color. That's right, I found an Earthbound randomizer. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. No one can stop Gigas either, because apparently what we learned from Cognitive Dissonance is that he's still going. Even though we removed the geek from him. So it's time to play... Earthbound! Oh. Odorbrandt! Yes, this randomizer randomizes the title, too. You can still see Earthbound in the background, though. They're not perfect. But it's a totally normal game of Earthbound. Just randomized. Absolutely nothing else has changed. Actually, it came in three flavors. You could play the whole adventure over, but I've already done that. There's also um, a key sanity mode, which is basically the whole adventure, but all the key items are in different places. Like, you could find zombie paper at BH Perkles instead of the key to the shack. Stuff like that. That's super hard. Oh, hey, I remember that kid. See, normal Earthbound. The version I'm playing, though, is going to be Ancient Cave, which is to take most of Earthbound, shuffle it all up, and throw it into a nine-level dungeon. And your goal is to get to Gigas. Relatively short. I have no idea what's going to happen because I haven't played this seed. I only, you know, looked at the title, and that's about it. See, no save games for me. So it's time to start a new game of Odorbrent! I guess this would be the, um, Severance Universe version of Earthbound? But look, there's Ness! It's still Ness. He might look different to you. Um, in the Severance Universe, he decided to take a little break before going on his adventure, and his mom was like, hey! Let's make a hero steak with this spice that I found in a cookbook on the internet. And he was like, okay. And apparently he's allergic to Dragonite. He's been a dragon since. Okay, Scott. We got this fellow. Lady. You know what? We're not quite sure. Yeah, Ness came home with a weird rock last year. He was on a field trip to Foggyland. Lo and behold, it hatched, kind of like that Water Horse movie. So they decided to keep it away from, you know, the government and all that. We could call it Tessie 2 or Tessie Jr., but how about Tessie with a Y? Ness's other pet. King doesn't mind, he's dying of fleas anyway. And everyone is familiar with this folk. It's Pokey. Pokey Minch. He did not become evil in this universe, because Gigas was trying to get to him. He did his usual nightmare stuff, hey, your parents don't love you, be evil. But then the Giga vanished, and so did the Intense, and he was just left with horrible nightmares. So as Ness was heading out, Pokey poked his nose in the business and said, hey, uh, could I hang with you for a little bit? And Ness was like, okay. Turns out he's a real smart kid. He knows a lot about laser beams and science stuff. No wonder he was able to get into cults and business. And this fellow just came out of nowhere. We have no idea where he's from. He just said, this world must be purified. And Ness was like, okay. I'm beginning to wonder if that's the only word Ness actually knows in English, or he's just really agreeable to everything. But this dude is named The Batter. Yeah, that's how you spell batter. He comes with his competences and everything. And also, everything else is just the same. Still got king. Favorite food is still steak. It's not greens. Different universe. And Ness likes to rock out loud. 
Yeah, not much customization this time, because obviously, look at this Earthbound. It's been customized enough. Even though I didn't randomize a few things, like I didn't randomize, um, stats. Because it would be really hard to get through this game if your Paula doesn't know how to use Psy very well, or your Ness can't really bash anybody. So, that kind of stuff is out. The rest of the randomization you'll see as we get started. Like we start off in Ness's house right away. I'm going to be leaving a little breadcrumb trail for myself so we don't get lost in this dungeon. But our team doesn't have much. We got a cracked bat, ATM card, soundstone, and an exit mouse. Exit mouse is really useful here because we can mark our teleport location. He'll remember that spot until I tell him to forget. We got a teddy bear on Tessie because, you know, it's a younger Tessie. We got some bottle rockets on Pokey. We could toss this right away. We don't need that. The ruler might come in handy, though. So can the broken spray can. And the batter came with a ruby and some water because he's an athlete. You have to stay hydrated. And this is where Nissa's house was the entire time. Saturn Valley. These Mr. Saturns are not very random because, you know what, they're random enough. They're not randomized at all. Yep. Barf, uh, what was his name? Master Belch is up to no good. Master Barf. Uh, oh, this Saturn speaks normal. And I don't like normal Saturns. That upsets me. Now, how this dungeon thing works is, um, there's one path, one straight path right to the goal. It'll take you through eight bosses and Gigas. But there's things off the beaten track that we might want to look for. Like, Saturn Valley was attached to Great Foo Falls the entire time. And yes, there's enemy spawns here, and they added more spawn plates, so... It gets tough going, especially later on in the game. But, uh, we don't need to wait three minutes. I've tried, I've never gotten to work. And presents are randomized. Yeah, I'll take that baseball cap. I also activated... Using an item in your inventory equips it. Also, if you noticed with the uh, Mr. Saturn text, it resolves really fast because I activated something called Ludicrous Speed. It just makes text go faster. Enemies have random names, random palettes, and random stats. But they're always matched to the level in which you're... which floor you're on. So, if you run across, like, a... Uh, like a star man here. He'll be as strong as a stray dog would be in the regular game. Because obviously, it'll be very hard to kill things if you're only level one. In a few cases. There's some cases where there's like scripted enemies. And they will keep their stats. And they could tell you a new one no matter what floor you're on. So you gotta be careful of those guys. As you can see, Speeding, uh, level up is pretty quick, and speaking of quick, I could hold down the Y button on my controller, and I could run! Running in Earthbound! Oh, Casey Bat. Anybody remember the Casey Bat? It has 25% accuracy, but it's the strongest weapon in the game. There's a good chance you might whiff. Good chance I'm gonna be selling that. It's garbage. Also, weird spawn things happen. Did you see a snake in the lake? No, you didn't see a snake in the lake. There's no snakes in the lake. And shops are randomized, even though the text is not. He has the ultimate bat. That is... Second or third best bat in the game? For two grand? I'm gonna have to leave that in my breadcrumb notes. I really, really want to get that bat. I'm gonna save up money for that. I'm just gonna keep going this way. If we run into a dead end, I'll head back the way we came. In fact, there's so many doors now. I, I wanna check out the other door. It's going to tempt me. I'm gonna need levels anyway. So, as my RPG custom usually goes, if I get in too many battles, I'm gonna start cutting them. But we have a, a bird playing dead. We got those snake things. They don't seem to want to bother with us. 
enemies have weird stats too. You could have an enemy that has like huge physical defense. You'll want to use Psy on those guys. Oh, good. It's just an item. So who could wear a baseball cap? Obviously, since Tessie is going to have Paula stats, we're going to probably need some defense on her for right now. Yeah, we still have a token female in the group. It just has, it's not human. I really like the sprites that they made for this game. That's why I'm covering it, because these sprites are really well made. I like Dragoness. Uh, I like most of the dragon characters, and all of them have a completed move set now. They had a bad habit of transforming into things on ladders. But I, I like all the dragons. There's um, like you know Bart Simpson. There's Ralsei. I was tempted to put Ralsei in this uh, let's play, but nah, I went with Tessie. I like this team. There's so many different versions. Ah, all these forks in the road. I like a lot of forks in the road in the beginning, though. Which means if we get all those out of the way, it's just a straight shot to the goal. All the items will be right in our path. Here's a Scaraba shop. Let's see what he has. He has a T-Rex's bat. I'm tempted. I don't have the money. I'm gonna have to label that in the thing, too. I'm gonna be keeping mental notes and physical notes of where I've been. Because it's very easy to get lost in this game. In this mode. Let's try this door. Let's try this cave! Hotel cave! Attached to Scaraba somehow. And also Grapefruit Falls. The geography is funky here. Oh, look at that. A hat upgrade already. I'm going to give that to Tessie. And I may as well take advantage of using the, the use to equip feature. I'm just used to using equip. That's all there is to it. And, um, where is this? It's not Lumine Hall, it's Pink Cloud. Yeah, I remember this funky music anywhere. Look, a stray dog into Pink Cloud. It's a... Why did you have to roll that... that adjective? Chaotic pooch? Am I saying that right? Chaotic? It's kind of like chaotic, but it's a... Um, Don Quixote style, I guess? Obviously the battles are going to go a lot quicker now, because I have that ludicrous speed. It's going to be so helpful. Look at that! Level's up already! Oh yeah, I have Psy randomized, did I tell you? Which means Ness wasn't supposed to get Hypnosis, but he has a Hypnosis. I don't really use Hypnosis, though. This hole's a no-go. There's way down holes because at the end there'll be a little ladder showing you, hey, you could go right back up that hole. But you never know which hole is which until you try. Oh, welcome to another hotel! Hotels everywhere. It's the Monotoli building! No, wait, no it isn't. He's randomized. He's been struck with the randomness. Ah, crows! I mean birds playing dead! You know what I mean. You know, that, that other hotel room is tempting me, though. I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I'm gonna be thinking about the path that I didn't take. And I was like, hey, maybe I should go back to that. As you can tell, the entrances and exits don't really make any sense, because we go up a ladder, and we get into a battle with a bird. Luckily, our team is so strong now that, um... I could do barehanded damage pretty well. Also, these guys have a habit of dropping cookies. They don't always drop cookies. It's just my seed, they happen to drop cookies, which is a weird coincidence. But they might drop, like, maybe condiments at the same rate that they would drop a cookie usually. Stuff like that would happen. I wonder if there's any, like, 1 128 drops. Then again, I wouldn't know if I saw one. Oh, there's a magic butterfly down there, but that might be an entire floor altogether. Oh, I remember this! This is going to be happening a lot, too. I will forget where I just went. I was thinking about this stairs here. Oh, look! It's the monkey cave! He wants a picnic lunch. 
I don't have a picnic lunch. He wants a skip sandwich. I don't have a skip sandwich. Monkey caves are cool, but they could also be your bane. If we give him a picnic lunch or give him a skip sandwich, we could go through that door. That door is off the path. They are shortcuts. That could take us to, like, floor five, floor seven, floor eight, and we could get destroyed by the enemies in there. But there's also a chance we could find some gift boxes that have some really powerful stuff in them. So, whenever I get the chance, we're gonna just check out a, a monkey floor for a little bit. Otto is my very best friend here. Because of ludicrous speed, battles take really quickly. Now we're back on track. I got all the dead ends out of the way. We found a monkey cave. You're gonna have to leave that in my notes. Well, might as well check the first door out. And it's a Stonehenge! That might have a few entrances in them. I'm gonna come back to that. Let's try this door. Oh, welcome to um, Dusty Dunes Desert. We have Sunstroke. There's a circus tent at the center of town. No, there isn't. It's a desert. The monkeys are warring with the zombies here. Now at least we have a shop. He got what we need. Like a big league bat that I can't afford. A slingshot that I can't afford. I kind of want the ribbon. But then again, I kind of want to give Pokey a slingshot. So he ain't terrible. Yeah, that'll work out. Now we can kill these weaker enemies easily. As you can see, we have some Psy already. We have healing on the batter. I mean, um... What would it be called? Save third base? Yeah. That's what I meant. We have a few psychic powers already, because everybody's psychic. Because of prophecy. It's like there is a roadblock going on here right now. Sometimes you could clear up the roadblock just by going other places, but, um... I'm deciding if I want to go to Stonehenge or if I want to turn around in here. And I've decided Stonehenge. Oh, that's not Sto- that's not the place I came from. This is magic in, and there's pyramids in there now. Well, at least I can use the phone. I can call Dad. It's very important that you call Dad. Even though he's just a phone. But, um... That saves your progress at that point. So that means if you die horribly... You won't need to go from the beginning again. Yeah, slingshots can't smash, and they kind of have poor accuracy, but... It makes weird noises happen. That's the randomizer. I'm really glad they severely reduced the experience required to level up. It helps really getting through this place without any grinding. I have to check this place out. There might be a present in here. There might be doors. There's both. There's things that go squish. It's so powerful, we insta-win. And also, we're loading up on cookies, aren't we? Yeah, a whole bunch of cookies. Pokey's just gonna eat all these because, you know, Pokey. Pokey's just gonna pokey sometimes. And a boiled egg we don't really need, so you know what? I'm hitting the right button. I threw it away! That's another feature of this randomizer. Auto throw away items. Another monkey cave. He wants a pizza! He's speaking to me in the human language. No, I don't want to give you a pizza. I don't have a pizza. I don't have a protein drink either. No, it's because I don't have a protein drink. That's another monkey warp, but that could send us places too. That's a monkey warps in the beginning. I didn't realize I had a hamburger until I lost a hamburger. And I lost a cookie, I threw it away. Psychic powers are really broken in this early floors of the game. They could really kill enemies. And you also don't have a lot of side points. Now we're in threed! Now we're not in threed. It's Polestar Preschool. Ah, I'm doing it again. I'm starting to think, hey, what was in uh, Dusty Dunes Desert? We could be hitting a dead end or we could be hitting Forside. Okay, I'm at a quandary then. Town 
dungeons are really big and they have tons of entrances, which means lots of possibilities. Like collapsing capitalism. Let's not get into that. We have a dreary snail to deal with. You heard about that guy and his opinions on capitalism. And you're like, come on, man, not in my earthbound. So instead they get smashed. With a slingshot. In the face. Cause that's how I roll. Oh, cartons of cream. Do not want. I'm gonna have to throw that out. I hate the condiments. Cool concept, I just don't want to use them. And now we're getting attacked by gift boxes. Which happens to be inconsiderate goo. Yeah, I agree, they are quite inconsiderate. That's why Tessie's gonna burn them. And use psychic powers. Can't play a odor branch without using psychic powers. Yeah, that's broken. So, with uh, four sides, multiple entrances, and Dusty Dunes Desert having a ton of entrances, this place is starting to fan out in a hurry. Oh, I wanted to trigger Photography Man. I guess I can't trigger Photography Man because uh, this ain't a museum no more. It's the Scaraba Hotel. Let's see what he has here. Frying pans! Yo-yos! Maybe we should hawk some stuff on them and get some Holmes hats. What do we have for sale? I got this Casey bat. Take it. $19! That's a rip! And again, and it's, it is garbage, and I guess everybody knows it. Here, have a cookie. $3 for a cookie. That's what we have. Baseball cap? Get rid of it? I'm gonna hold on to that teddy bear as long as possible. I want to fix the spray can before I use it, so... Sadly, I don't have enough money to buy those things I want. Oh, I can check my ATM. $110. How much was a Holmes hat? Like 60? I could do that. I'm gonna be making tons of money because you don't know when you're gonna be seeing an ATM next. And you'll have to opt for, like, those guys to take a lot of money just to give you money. I'll give that to Pokey. He needs some defense. He was getting attacked by crows even though we have a teddy bear. They're getting confused. Anyway, we could check out another shop around here. A shop we don't have to rely on being randomized because it's up in this corner. Where we would get like the... What was it? The hyper beam or the double beam? And it's the sharks! They moved on the far side. The beautiful twerp and the street gangster. Well, they're gonna get psychic powers in the face. Check out my plesiosaur and psychic ice powers. Like that. It'll get more difficult. It depends on what kind of items we find. But these first few levels are gonna be quite easy to be deal with. They got the goods, G. You sound like somebody I know. He's selling ribbons, platinum bands, silver bracelets, everything I can't afford. Man, this is the shopping level. No, it isn't. No, they don't. I don't. I don't believe you. I don't believe anyone around here. Everyone's been struck with the random. Now, where was my way out? Way back. It was um. Hotel, wasn't it? It was around this corner. Ah, slow down! Too many sprites! Too many spawn points! Totally legit SNES that I'm using can't handle it. So as much as I would love to check out Foresight, I actually want to check out Dusty Dunes Desert. You know, mess around in there. There's less entrances either way. It's not a huge labyrinth. I like this place. I still haven't checked that top door out. Yeah, so many places to see! I want to see what's behind this door. Then I'll hang it up for today. Oh, right, we've been here. Alright, at least I have my breadcrumbs in place so I know where I've been.
So next time on Odorbrant, more random adventures with our new crew. Good night, folks.